Back in May, the BC College of Pharmacists ordered this Penticton Pharmacy behind me to stop dispensing intravenous drugs and opioid agonist treatments like methadone. At the time, the college was tight-lipped as to exactly why only saying owner Joel Mbambi was dispensing medications contrary to legislative requirements. Castanet News can now reveal the breadth of the allegations against her revealed in civil court filings in Kelowna. The college is alleging a 15-year-old employee of Sunrise Pharmacy obtained methadone from the business prior to fatally overdosing on the substance back in September 2017. The teen, which Castanet is not identifying, was found dead in his bedroom the morning after he went home sick from a shift at Sunrise. Toxicology reports state the amount in his system indicates he would have started to get sick about 30 minutes after ingesting the methadone. He vomited at 7 p.m. well at the pharmacy, but had been on shift since about 3.30. Video surveillance did not capture the teen using or accessing drugs, although he was off-camera and unsupervised at times. In a letter sent to Mbami when it issued its order in May, the college alleged there was no direct video information that the teen obtained or ingested methadone at Sunrise Pharmacy, However, the information showed that he was unsupervised and on a balance of probabilities, he had both the opportunity and access to methadone at Sunrise Pharmacy prior to his death. An inspection of the pharmacy over a year after the teen's death found methadone was not being properly locked up on the premise. There are other allegations involving the unsanitary preparation of intravenous drugs, which Sunrise is also vigorously disputing. The pharmacy claims it had no involvement in the death of the team, pointing to the RCMP investigation that concluded the boy took the drug voluntarily and found no criminality. The pharmacy's lawyer declined comment, as did the College of Pharmacists. None of the allegations have been proven in court. A more in-depth version of this story can be read on castanet.net. From Penticton, I'm Colin Dacre.